Now I'm going to demo Magnet from Top Gun. So how are we going to do your project? Well, you're going to need either a GPS or a total station. At this point, I'm demonstrating total station. Download the magnet, the demo. So I double click and uh, this software works for GPS and it also works for total stations. The total station is an optical instrument. It has lenses, right? Uh, so it's optical as opposed to GPS that it works with satellites. Okay, we're going to demonstrate here the total station. So I have it set up. I have a cable. If you follow my camera here, this cable is from my computer and it goes directly into the total station. In the total station, uh, there is a couple of ports, one for a battery and one for the data. So I'm connected through the data cable. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. So now we look at a series of icons. Uh, Serve C was a menu with tabs. Well, this one is more visual. You have icons and they perform exactly the same function. Well, you start with a job. So if I click on job, open a new job, or I can open an existing. Let's start with a brand new one, give it a name, whatever you like to. The last one I was, I call it campus. So now it calls it the new one, campus one. But I can type anything I want here. As usual, I will say trash because then I will get rid of it. My rule of thumb is keep it simple. Uh, there's lots of opportunity to complicate things here. But I would recommend simpler, better, especially for your project. Uh, but if you like, you can go into more detail. Uh, but just, I recommend you get it done simpler first, and then you add into it. Okay. So we've done with the job. So what we need to do now, uh, we connected the equipment. So this is not exactly in the same in the same order I'll follow. But I need to tell the occupancy point of the total station, right? So I need to set up and I need to have my occupancy point and my backside point. The problem is I don't have any points because my file is brand new. I can make my own numbers. So if I go here, edit, you can find points. Okay, and I can add points and I will add two points. Let's say a hundred, a hundred. Okay, a hundred, a hundred. Okay, so that will be my starting point, for example, with a coordinate of a hundred, a hundred. Accept. Okay, I have my point there and I will need a second point. I always need two points, one that I will occupy and a second one that I will backside into it so I can define the north by doing that, right? So I'm rotating or realigning the equipment when I'm doing that. So let's get a second point. And this one, let's say that is uh, five meters north. Five meters north would make it 105 here, right? So I'm gonna type 105 for the north and the east is fine at 100 as it is. So I got my two points, okay? I close. Um, Anytime you hit this home, you go to the home menu and there you can go to a map and that map should show the two points that we have. So if you zoom extend, point a thousand and point a thousand and two. I got two points. I can occupy one and I can backside to the next one. Okay. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I need to go to the home menu. I look for home here. So I need to set up, set up. I go for backside in it. Which point I occupy is says here, occupancy point. Uh, there is a list here and there's a drawing. You could pick it up from either. From the drawing here, it puts a thousand. Same thing with the backside. You go to the map here and I say, this is my backside. Automatically puts a thousand and one. All right. What else do I need to tell? The instrument height, because maybe the elevation was at the floor and I'm gonna say, well, I'm about one and a half meters higher than that. 
Okay, normally you measure that with a measuring tape. Now for your project, it doesn't matter because I'm asking you for a two dimensional drawing. I'm not asking for elevations, but if you like to include elevations, then you know, you may want to measure the instrument height and type the correct number that will affect your elevation. So I'm done with this. And now I say, go ahead and set it. Okay. Set it means rotate the equipment uh, along with that alignment. So I aim to the backside with my total station. By the way, here's the total station. I go ahead and I look at my north. Let's say that is the door that I see there, the knob. Okay, so I'm aiming to the door knob being my north. Okay, and I come back here and I go ahead and set. When you do that, the instrument will take a reading and I'm good to go. Basically, what the instrument did was to uh, align with respect to that doorknob that I pointed out to. Okay, so now I'm done. And it gives me a summary of what I did. Occupancy point, backside point. Obviously I'm aiming north, so the azimuth is zero. Okay, it gives you a distance and it gives you, if there was any difference, I said it should have been five meters. Well, in fact, there's 3.7 meters. So there is a difference, but I don't mind because I'm only using that to align, to rotate the north. And now I'm ready to do my project, okay? Now let's say I'm in the basement of my house here, and let's say that my project was, I'm going to put, uh, I don't know, a fountain here in the center of my, my basement. All right, I'm just kidding, but of course you make your own project here. Whatever I'm gonna build, I need to know how much space I have to build that. So how about if I type, start by taking uh, some shots of the walls so I can see what's going on? Because right now my drawing looks like this. Two points, nothing else. I have a total station here. I have my backside there, okay? But I wanna start taking points. So I'm gonna aim to the corner of my basement in here and I'm gonna take a reading of that. Okay, you can see my total station. You can see the corner uh, where I'm pointing there, okay? So I am and in here in your software, what do I need to do? Take a reading. So I'm gonna go home right here and I'm gonna go ahead and survey, survey, okay? And I'm gonna do a topo, and here I am. And at the bottom here, there's two icons. One is take a reading, the other one is to store or save the reading, okay? So I click on this one, and the total station takes a reading. You can see actually the red dot where it took the reading, and on my screen, it shows me where that point is falling. You can see it right there. So if I'm good with that, I'm going to store it and maybe give it a name or give it a description or give it a code. Okay, you can type here, let's say that I call that one my Northwest corner, NW corner, corner. Okay, and it's a good idea to do that because if not, um, when you save it, if you don't give a description, then all you have is X, Y, and Z. But a description field, it can save you a lot of work. So if you notice my icon here, I'm about to save it. I hit save and there's my point. I'm gonna aim to the other corner of the room now. Okay, you see me aiming to the other corner. Okay, and I'm doing this rather quickly with only one hand, okay? So uh, again, two icons here, and I'm aiming to the one, take a reading. Press that one, it takes a shot, and it puts it right there, okay? 
And if I'm going to say that that's the northeast corner, I'm going to change that to northeast. Okay, you can imagine that if I had my hands free here, it would go a lot faster, right? So right there, and I'm going to save it. Save it. Done. I got the two corners. If you go to edit your points and look for the points in here, you find out that your points are all uh, stored in there and you will have them added to your drawing. You will have it in a map. You will be able to export that and you send it to a file, okay? And you can save it in many different versions, including DWG. You can see there the version DWG. Okay, so when I accept this, I should be able to, well, I'm going to store four points. Okay, I will export all of that. I don't have any lines right now. Trash, as usual. <laughs> Otherwise, I end up filling in my uh, hard drive very quickly. Trash. That I can go into the computer uh, lab and I can do all the cosmetics uh, that I need to complete my design. So I'm going to put a beautiful fountain here for my project. 